What's up, YouTube? So before we get started with this video on Get Up, we're gonna be talking to Amanda Nunez about her fight tomorrow when, between is gonna be Amanda Nunez and Felicia Spencer. So let's see what they have to talk about. And we're very pleased to be joined now by two weight champion Amanda Nunez, currently the bantamweight champ, but set to defend her featherweight title against Felicia Spencer. Yeah, so Amanda Nunez is a beast, in case you didn't know. This Saturday night, Amanda defending this belt for the first time at this new weight class. What has the training been like under these extremely unusual circumstances? Honestly, like, been good, you know, all these virus going on, but the gym, leave the gym open for me, and I go in my time, and then I do my, my training. That's right. Got to leave that gym open so the lioness can work on those hands because she sure as heck knows how to throw them. And I go home. Actually, I'm... I'm we, I did a very good camp, you know, because the gym will make everything work, you know, make make my camp happen. And, um, yeah, I'm going to defend the 135 belt, and I feel like the training was, was very good, amazing. And, of course, he's in the weight class up. I have to put some – I have to be a little more heavy, you know. I pretty much training um, – the same, like a training for 135, of course, with the different opponent, you have to change your strategy. And for sure, I went to the the uh, physical training, I put more heavy weights, you know, I lift, I lift a lot of heavy weights and put in more muscle, but now I'm ready. All right. So like I've said before, Amanda Nunez is an absolute beast. She's a killer in the ring. Um, so let's take a quick look at uh, Amanda Nunez. So her overall fight record is 19-4. She's 5'8", 145 pounds. She's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and a brown belt in Judo. Um, so let's take a quick look at some of her huge wins. So on July 9, 2016, she beat Misha Tate for the UFC Bad, bad, bad Weight Championship. Um, with the submission with the real naked choke hold in the first round, which is absolutely amazing. Um, then she beat Ronda Rousey. You know, Ronda Rousey that said that she could probably beat up most men and that she could probably beat up Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, that Ronda Rousey. Well, uh, uh, Amanda Nunez beat her with the TKO in the first round. Um, she defended her championship, her badman, badman weight championship and that was what december 30th 2016 and uh on december 29 2018 she beat up chris cyborg with the ko in the first round and with that win she became the uoc featherweight champion um that's another huge win because all you have to guys all you have to you guys all you guys have to do is go check out chris cyborg and you will see how big of a win that is with the man of is because chris cyborg is like uh fighting um a guy, if you want to put, I don't mean be sound mean, but Chris Cyborg is a beast, and Amanda put them hands on her, and then her her, her most recent her most recent uh, large win was against Holly Holmes with the TKO with the kick to the head. That was July six, uh, two thousand nineteen. She defended her bad bat and weight uh, championship. Um, side note: so Holly Holmes beat up uh, Ronda Rousey. She was the first person to beat up. Ronda Rousey, and then uh, Amanda Nunez went in there and beat her up, and it was just all downhill, if not end of a career for Ronda Rousey. So Amanda Nunez is absolutely bad. She's fighting against uh, Felicia Spencer. Um, Felicia Spencer's 8-1. and one. Um, So we'll get into uh, Felicia Spencer a little on in this video. So let's continue. What kind of safety procedures have you gone through as you prepared for the fight based upon the circumstances of the coronavirus? You know, I have all my my uh, um, sanitizer with me, the mask, and everything. Keep distance for for a lot of people. You know, when I went to to go training, it was the only time that I get out from the house, and from my car, I walk in the gym. You know, nobody in my area. I was in, in the side of the mat or in the cage by myself. Me and my coach. And, Good. That's what I like to hear. She's training hard. She's focused. I know people aren't supposed to be running because of their social distancing and, you know, the coronavirus. But that's what I like to hear. A champion is in there completely 100 percent focused on her next fight and ready to take care of business. And that's what part of the reason what makes Amanda Nunez so bad, because she's a beast. She's an absolute beast. A lioness. You know, and um, we we did everything we we 
to be ready for this fight safely. And the gym always clean the mat very well, you know, sanitize everything, leave everything ready to go. And for another athletes coming after me. So I, I did everything, you know, I went home I, right after my training, went home and stay home. So you've now beaten every previous bantamweight and featherweight women's champion. So Amanda, what is driving you at this point? I love to do this. This is the thing driving me. I love this sport. You know, I don't know. I don't know anything else like what I want to do. You know, I wanted to do this. I wanted to be an MMA athlete. And this is driving me. I love this sport. I love to do what I do. You know, and I got all my dreams coming true. Everything that I had was because of this sport. And I just enjoy at this point, you know. Enjoy be the champion and enjoy training because training is a part of me. You know, if I'm not gonna go to the gym, if I'm not training, uh, that day I'm not gonna be good. You know, my body not gonna react very well. My mind is gonna miss something. And uh, yeah, I feel like the training for me for me is the best part of this. If you love, you go to train every day. You're gonna be fine. You know, for a long time until until really your body give up. But my body's pretty good, and I, I love going to the gym. I love training. I, lo I love learning new things, and every time we show up better, better than ever. And Saturday's going to be that. You know, I'm going to show up better than ever. All right, Amanda. So what? Yeah, so basically what Amanda Nunez just said is that she has a spirit of a warrior. I say it again. She has the spirit of the warrior. That's what draws her and tracks her to working out and training and getting better and progressing and just fighting and beating up <laughs> this other women in, in miraculous style and fashion and, and putting them hands in other women is because she has a spirit of a warrior. That's what you call it. That is exactly what you call it. Call it. So with that said, let's take a quick look at Felicia Spencer. So Felicia Spencer's record, she's eight and one. And her stats are, she's what? She's 5'5", five, five, 145 pounds. Um, her styles are Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, kickboxing, and Taekwondo. Um, so her last big loss or the last big cyborg, and that was what, July 27, 2019? And she beat her in the third round with the decision. So Chris Cyborg is no slouch. That's a, a man in union has beat Chris Cyborg already. But Chris Cyborg, if you're putting hands on Chris Cyborg, you're definitely making some major moves. Um, cause Chris Cyborg is a monster herself, like literally. Um, but I, I, I'm, I think for this, I'm probably going to have to go with the man in Nunez because the man in Nunez is an absolute beast. She has a ton of experience and Felicia Spencer, I, Felicia Spencer, I feel like she doesn't have enough um, experience and I just feel like she's not better than a man in Nunez. Um, like I said, Felicia Spencer is eight and one, so she doesn't have a heck of a lot of fights. She has some good quality fights with, you know, beating up Chris Cyborg. But other than that, uh, I don't know. I, I just got to go with the man in Nunez. So let's continue. What can all the fans expect to see from you on Saturday night? I'm ready, you know. Expect to, like, don't blink your eyes because everything can happen. You know, when you, you fight somebody like, like me, you really, you really have to be ready. I'm going to go step in the cage and then bring it, you know? Yes, she will. She's going to put hands on uh, Miss Felicia Spencer. It's going to be like, bye, Felicia, in the first round. That's what I'm talking about. That's how bad I think Amanda Nunez is. So, I don't know. Let's continue. I, I Nobody's going to take that belt for me. I want to make sure 